Warning, this may contain spoilers for the Tekken 8 main story. Back with another outfit tier list, and this time, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's Kazuya Mishima. So, same deal as before. First game, all the way to the latest. Oh, and this time, I'm going to be including some custom outfit presets, like these. But I won't cover the same outfits that are carrying on over to the next games. Devil! Devil. Let's start off with the beginning. Kazuya with brown lips. So, here is his primary outfit. It's about as basic as you can get. And you gotta remember, this came out during the time when Street Fighter was still popular, so you see a lot of the fighting game protagonists look a bit like Ryu. Kazuya? Not too much looking like Ryu. He looks different enough to stand out. Got the scar in his chest, got the gloves, basic pants, basic belt. I mean, it's, I mean, it's about as simple as you can get. So, because of that, we're gonna go between. And here is his alternate outfit. This is one of those alternate outfits where it's a lot better than the primary outfit because there's more going on. Again, this is another basic outfit, but it's effective. He's got the white beater tank top, ripped jeans, and he's got those nice sneakers, dog. Still retains the same gloves for whatever reason, but eh, still works. This is one of those outfits that I would rather use over the primary. This one... Between it would be too harsh, but... But the highest would be too generous, so I'm gonna go for Dude. awesome. Because that's what I think it is. But I'll tell you what's not awesome. Devil Kazuya's debut. Yeah, uh, if you get a perfect score in the Galaga mini game and uh, you get this outfit for Kazuya and the... <laughs> he looks like a scuffed star platinum. <laughs> Please let it end. I don't deserve this existence. Oh, that is damned, all right, <gasps> already. And here is Tekken 2 Kazuya. Not too different from the previous game. Just a little bit, little bit different. First off, the belt is slightly different. Instead of a yellow outline on his belt, it still it has like the yellow marks on his black belt. And his gloves are full gloves instead of fingerless gloves. I don't know about you, but uh, he kind of looks awkward with full gloves. Especially with the foot guards that are exposing his feet. I mean, uh, this one, not, I mean, not better, but I don't hate it at the same time. Calling it crap would be too harsh. But so is calling it between two generous, but I'm feeling generous and going to call it between because, uh, like I said, it's not too different, but not enough for me to dislike it. And this is his secondary outfit in Tekken 2. Okay, all right. This is another better looking pro secondary. It's got more going on. I don't mind like the overshirt, like the see-through tank top. The jeans are now clean instead of torn up, and he's wearing boots. No gloves, which I don't mind. I mean, well, then again, he could have worn something else instead of no gloves, like, I don't know, some armbands or something like that. I mean, it would look better with at least armbands or even the same gloves. But this one ain't too bad as well. I'm not gonna call it awesome, because I've seen better. Oh, and for whatever reason, this outfit does not return in Tekken Tag Tournament. Uh, we're gonna go with Between as well. And here is Kazuya's third outfit when you face him in Arcane Mode. Fucking infinite reading, son of a bitch. Look at this outfit. That just screams the boss. He is the boss. I mean, he's got that nice purple suit. That's when he started to have his purple fetish in his outfits, which... Spoilers! You're gonna see a lot of purple in his outfits. Why? Because... Devil, that's why. That's why he wears purple. 
aside from purple, it's still peak design, like peak Kazuya design. Again, this is a time where his outfits are basic, but effective. And this is a very, very effective design for Kazuya. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but it gets the sugarcoated Mask. tier. Oh, and speaking of Devil, here is Devil Kazuya. A lot better than the previous Devil Kazuya, don't you think? What else is there to say other than, uh, he's mostly shirtless, he's purple, his scar is now red, and he's got fuzzy and monstrous legs. Oh, and he's got wings. That's, that's important. Devil Kazuya did have wings in the promotional art in Tekken 1, but not in base game. So here are his wings that he uses to fly around and laser you. Yeah, you got this devil man look. Again, this is a very, very effective. Really awesome looking. Awesomely basic. And we're going to skim on through tech and tag because this is devil's primary. This is devil's alternate. Now, I did say that I would omit recolors for like the next games, but this is the only exception because uh, there's no excuse for this one. I mean, you just, I mean, it's just a lighter purple color. That's it. I mean, it's, it's still the same Devil Kazuya, but lighter purple. So, uh, damned would be too harsh, but calling it crap <laughs> would be generous, but like I said, I'm feeling generous, so, uh, yeah. Kind of a lazy attempt on making a secondary outfit on Devil. Okay, now this is a glow up. This is a good redesign of Kazuya Mishima right here. Now he's more scarred up because of what happened in between Tekken 2 and 4. And his pants get a nice little redesign. It's got like this lightning bolt surrounding it. I mean, well, one side of the pants, but it's still neat. He's got a purple belt instead of black. And he's got those traditional gloves, fingerless this time, instead of full. Same foot guards. Yeah. Oh, and he's got the red eye from now on. He's got one normal eye and then the, the red evil eye. Do that. That's what I think. And speaking of glow ups, his alternate outfit also gets that. This is one of the better, like, this is his best looking alternate outfit by far. I mean, look at that. Casual shirt and pants, shoes, but he's got those gloves. And the best thing about this outfit, he's wearing shades. I love the shades that he wears in that outfit. Mmm. Another case of simple and better. Yeah, this is one of those outfits where it's much, much better than the primary. Mosque. As much as I like the glow up on Tekken 4, this is more of a glow up. Kazuya changed his pants. And instead of lightning bolt, it's just like fire symbol, like purple fire symbol. Not too bad. I. I know this is an outfit that you see mostly because he wears it often in Tekken 5, 6, and even 7. This one is pretty good, but I still like the Tekken 4 pants better. Still a neat design, Do that. but I'm not going to be harsh and call it between. Alright, so here is his alternate outfit that carried on over in the later games. This is an updated version of his Tekken 2 boss outfit. But more going on. This time he's got gloves and a longer cape on his coat. It's a glow up, but not as impactful as the previous games because at least in his Tekken 2 suit, like it shows that he's the boss of the operation. Here is just, I'm just gonna wear the suit again. And this time I remembered the gloves. Calling it S would be too generous. Calling it A would also be too generous. So, uh, uh, um, 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 
Um, uh, I don't want to be. Well, I've put in a lot of awesome, so it's a little between. Oh, 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 I could. Oh boy, I could hear the comments already. Oh, jeez. Next up is his Shinden outfit. This is the outfit that you get if you pre order Tekken 6. I don't know. I don't know. When I see this outfit, um, I don't think it's Kazuya. I can understand if this was used on either Jack or Yoshimitsu, but uh, Kazuya of all characters? No. Just no. No, 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 no. It looks like something out of Giver. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. The more I look at it, the more I dislike it. I mean, ugh. This outfit does not fit Kazuya at all. It's just, it's just way too futuristic. I know that's ridiculous since it's Tekken. I mean, anything goes with Tekken, but still. Mm. I don't know. It's just, mm. it, ugh. I don't have much words for it other than it's <gasps> damned. And here is the outfit that he wears in uh, campaign mode. The uh, campaign scenario. I don't know. I, Tekken 6 is the only game in the series that I didn't play. And looking at this, um, uh, boy, he sure loves c the color purple, doesn't he? I mean, is it really necessary on an outfit like this? I mean, I can understand if it's gray or green. Well, that purple? I don't know. The color purple just ruins this outfit for me. I mean, he's still got his traditional gloves. But, uh, yeah, um, hmm. If it wasn't for that purple color, <clears throat> it wouldn't have been crap. And here is another outfit that, uh, would look better on a different character instead of Kazuya. At least it doesn't take away too much of Kazuya, but still. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of another fighting game called Fighters Impact, where one of the characters wear this outfit. I know it's supposed to be a traditional outfit for certain fighters. Uh, I can't think of a top of my head, so why uh, captions uh, get that? Again, it, it would be better if it was someone else. Like Asuka Kasama, I can understand because she wears that outfit. But uh, hmm, yeah, this is another outfit that. Doesn't look right on a character like Kazuya. So, uh, hmm. Uh, doesn't look horrible, but it doesn't look good either. Uh, <gasps> might as well. And here is his formal outfit. And again, that fucking purple fetish of his. This one, hmm. This one doesn't look too bad. I mean, he doesn't look bad in suits either way. This one is a more simple but effective outfit. And this is at a time where Tekken starts to really, really go full force on over-designing outfits. This, for whatever reason, is simple enough and uh, it's better that way. I like the purple vest and the purple pants. And I know he's thinking, I want that purple stuff. I like that silver belt of his, and it fits well, but not as awesome as I think. So, it should be awesome, man. I like it, but not awesome. I could go with between. I don't mind. And here is his gangster outfit. He dresses up like a biker gang in Japan. Now, with this outfit, I don't mind it being purple because uh, those biker gang dudes wear purple in the first place. So it's not too far off. And again, it's Kazuya. It fits him anyway. Got that chain. Got the red undershirt there. Still the same gloves for whatever reason. Got the black boots. This one doesn't look too bad. It's not bad, but I don't think it's awesome either. So, there's gonna be a lot of B tiers on this one. And now for Tekken Tag 2, but before we get to Tekken Tag 2, we gotta look at his prologue in the Tekken Tag 2 prologue demo. And oh my god. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Hmm.
Uh, this is what I mean when they were going uh, full force on over-designing characters, and uh, case in point, this. I know that this is supposed to be based off of his design and Bloodline Vengeance, and uh, yeah. Uh, Mm, no, I don't like it. Actually, I hate it. I hate this design. It's just, uh, the colors are butt ugly. I mean, at least it's not purple, but still, uh, even purple would be better on this. Got like the fuck off horns and the whatever, like devilish wings. Like I know he's a devil, but I, uh, no, no, I don't have anything nice to say about this <laughs> devil form. No, no. It's too damned, even by devil standards. And here is his alternate outfit in Tekken Tag 2. It's basically a preset on, like, here's a preview of what you can make in the customization. That kind. Oh, this one looks horrible. Oh, it really is horrible. Like, uh, the ugly shirt, like the color and the pants makes it uh, the pants is even worse. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man. Even the gloves and boots, even the gloves and shoes are left to be desired. I mean, I know that it's supposed to be like a preview of what you can do in the customization, but still. Mm, doesn't excuse it for being sloppy. And this is when they stopped giving a damn about giving characters alternate outfits in general. Until Tekken 7 that they brought it back. Ooh, uh, yeah, um, uh, another outfit that, uh, I'm gonna be harsh. And here is the Wii U exclusive outfit for Kazuya, Link. This one is pretty good, but I think that Kazuya would look a little better, or maybe a lot better if he wore a Ganondorf's outfit, either the Orcarina of Time Ganondorf, or... The Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Either of those would have fit Kazuya better. Instead of Link. Still, it's a pretty neat costume for... It's a pretty neat exclusive costume regardless. So... I would put it on between, but... For the sake of being like an exclusive costume, I'm gonna call it awesome. Do so, there's that. And here's a collaboration outfit with Snoop Dogg, I mean Snoop Lion. It doesn't look too different from the ones that you can make in the customization mode, honestly, and uh, hmm. Yeah, it's just, it doesn't look that good, to be honest. Upon looking at it even more, hmm, nah. Like, the colors is fine, it's just, hmm, kind of wish it had more going on. It's not going to be damned, but it could be worse. It could be worse, but it could also be better. All right, so here is his swap costume in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. It's supposed to be based off of either M. Bison, Dictator, or Relento. I can't tell if he's cosplaying as either one of them. It looks like it's a original outfit, to be honest. It looks good on Kazuya, don't get me wrong. But, um, since it's supposed to be Swap, um, who is this based off of, really? Besides M. Bison or Relento? I would like to think more of M. Bison for obvious reasons. Ooh, this one, this one looks pretty good, honestly. But, yeah. I was gonna sugarcoat it, but, uh, maybe even awesome. Actually, I'll, I'll put it on A. Do that! Since I'm feeling generous. And this is another outfit in Street Fighter Cross Tekken for Kazuya. Not the outfit that I would expect from Kazuya of all characters. Well, at least he's covering himself up partially. Unlike his father. Oh, this one, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know if it works on Kazuya. Like, this is another one of those, like, it would be better off if it was worn by someone else instead of Kazuya. Like, I know he's always shirtless, but he's always shirtless for a reason. 
Uh, yeah, uh, hmm. I don't dig this outfit very much. Not damned. <clears throat> but, honestly, it could be better. Alright, we're almost done with this. Here is this Tekken 7 primary outfit. This one is a pretty good looking CEO outfit. This outfit looks like his... You know what this outfit reminds me of? This outfit did not even make it even in the console version of Tekken Tag 1, but man! This would have been a really good outfit to use, but instead it says Tekken 2 primary and suit. Not even a third outfit for whatever reason, despite some of the Tekken 2 characters having third outfits. But not Kuzuya, for whatever reason. So to see this sort of outfit, I really like. But not as much as his Tekken 2 suit. I mean, for once, it's not purple. It's a very good looking primary outfit, but not worth sugarcoating it. Well, then again, this is the same game where he doesn't sugarcoat it in the first place. This is gonna go on Do awesome. Because I think a lot of his outfits are awesome in the first place. Oh, and here's a purple variation of his primary outfit. There you go. And here are his preset outfits in Tekken 7 that you select. Thank god for that, we're back to using alternate outfits. Anyway, this is actually the same outfit that he wore in Bloodline Vengeance. This is a nice looking outfit, despite having purple, but at least this purple suit fits him. This one looks very, very good on Kazuya either way. Like a nice slick looking suit. And dare I say, even better than his Tekken 6 simple suit. And oh, I forgot, he's not wearing gloves. Oh well, it's not like he needs it. This one I like better. So, there's that. Got his Bloodline Vengeance outfit. This is what he looks like as an American biker. Hmm. This one... It could look worse. But it could also look better. Could use some purple... Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this one's mostly black, got a blue undershirt, got some nice decals on the jacket and the pants, black sneakers. This one doesn't look bad, but doesn't look too cool either. So I'm gonna go between. This one looks like his Tekken 1 alternate. Personally, I think it looks slightly worse. Because, uh, hmm... It just looks like he's an abusive husband. That's that's what it look that's what it looks like. He looks like a wife beater. Well, the only points that I'll give are like the decals on his jeans. But still, um, nah, it just looks like a worse version of his alternate Tekken One outfit. If I were to be blunt. <clears throat> oh, oh, I forgot. He also turns to Devil in Tekken 7. This one doesn't look too bad compared to the other ones. I mean, I'll take this over the Tekken Tag 2 Devil any day. This one looks close. This one doesn't look bad, honestly. When I first saw it, I was like, oh god, it's over design. But looking at this right now, it doesn't look too bad, personally. I mean, he's got the glow, we got the purple aura, I got the eyes on the wings. Maybe he's got eyes all over him still. I mean, it could look worse, but I've seen better. Yeah, um, this is a proper, I mean, at least this is a better redesign than the other one. But I still like the Tekken 2 one better, so... I'm still gonna call it awesome. Nah, 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 calling it awesome would be too generous, so let's go between. Okay, we're almost done, and now we're in the latest game in the series, Tekken 8. And, uh, ooh, wow. Ooh, oh, wow. Talk about a glow up. This one's a nice redesign of his CEO outfit. I mean, it's got more going on. I love, I love the color details. It's not, oh yeah, it's not too purple. So yeah, I love the coat. I mean, I love the different colors of the coat, like 
the outside is bluish while the inside is reddish i love the suit that goes behind that coat oh I, oh and he's wearing his traditional gloves this time i think this outfit looks better with the gloves anyway but what, yeah this is like a updated glove version of his tekken 7 outfit with more going on this is a much much better redesign than the rest of the cast like the rest of the Tekken 8 cast, I personally think that a bit too over-designed for my liking. Not the case with Kazuya. I mean, sometimes... Yeah, I mean, this some... Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say my point is, but I don't have a point. I mean, I just like the outfit a lot, so... Uh... Mask. Boom. And here, he's wearing different pants. Okay, alright. He's got the purple and yellow belt and his oh it looks like his his gloves are longer and oh oh look at the like the the palm part of his gloves are black did, did the palm part of his gloves were black or was it always red on the previous games okay so i like that his gloves are differently colored like it's not just all red and again fingerless gloves i mean well, like I said, he looks kind of awkward with full gloves, Tekken 2 and Tag. And the design of his pants is also pretty good looking as well. Got like the serpent dragon thing. Like, it could be Yamato no Orochi or something like that. Yeah, it looks... I think it looks better than his Tekken 5 pants. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is another glow up outfit. Oh, man. Ooh, oof. Which one is better? His Tekken 4 primary or his... Or... This glow up. Hmm, uh, hmm, hum, hum. You know what? S would be too generous and A would be too harsh. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh. And Tekken 8 really did a better job on redesigning characters. The rest of the Tekken 8 cast, I personally think that was too uh, over-designed for my liking. Uh, you know what? It's gonna go in the sugar-coated tier. So, uh, hmm. What else is there to say about Kazuya? I mean, uh, oh. Oh, um, uh, oh, 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 true devil Kazuya. Well, uh, when I first saw this form, I thought, oh, I think that's a bit overboard, but uh, I've seen worse. I get that it's a more powerful version of his devil form, but uh, I can't say I like it. That's the thing. I cannot say I like true devil Kazuya. It's just, it, it, it's basically like a over like over the top version of devil kazuya i mean i know tekken can get over the top with those dragon ball fight scenes and the cut scenes and even the bloodline vengeance but here's the thing i may not like it but i don't hate it as much as this tekken tag prologue devil form so um i'm not gonna say it's damned well what I'll say is damned as Angel Jin. I mean, <laughs> oh my god. When I saw that, I thought like, what is this Warrior of Light Final Fantasy shit right here? <clears throat> That's gonna do it for Kazuya and Devil Kazuya combined. So, without further ado, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Sadness covers me like a blanket. Wait a minute, you're not Kazuya, who are you? Just like the movie, this devil form is left to be desired. You can create this outfit better than this one! Lighter purple devil. Sir, uh, why do you need to wear purple? He's gonna throw you! Drop it like it's hot! Drop it like it's hot! God, I feel like my father! Damn it, June, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it! Where's my damn beer? Now this is absolutely my ultimate form! Smiling brown lips Kazuya! Full gloves Kazuya! See through tank top, pimp Kazuya, another day at the office Kazuya. My biker gang's better than yours. 
No, mine's better than yours. Oh yeah, sometimes you fight them in treasure battle. Better alternate outfit, Tekken 1. Stop fucking throwing me. I'm gonna keep wearing this pants because, I don't know, I just like the comfort of it. Would have been better if it was Ganondorf. Uh, are you being Bison or Relento? I still can't tell. Evil CEO, which should have been in Tag 1. One line vengeance suit. Input reading quarter muncher. Badass casual. Updated version of his suit. And a glow up of his fighter outfit. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, thanks. Bye.